Do you feel like your life is on a highway and it's just zooming past you? Do you sometimes feel like the stress of life is just kind of taking you under? Hi, I'm Dr. Regina with Lead Life Psychiatry and today we are continuing our series of following in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul as we lead you in your mental health journey. There are two types of stress. There's you stress or good stress as well as distress or bad stress, but they're both caused by the exact same chemical, cortisol. It's our perspective that changes whether or not we perceive it as good or bad. So follow me as we talk about the Apostle Paul's journey, taking biblical scriptural concepts and merging them with what we know from modern psychology and psychiatry. The Apostle Paul faced immense challenges throughout his life. From persecution to imprisonment, his journey was anything but easy. In 2 Corinthians 11, 24 through 27, he lists an immense array of sufferings beatings, shipwrecks, being stoned, constantly in danger. And all of those things are stressful. But Paul constantly put certain things at the forefront and that helped develop his resilience. Instead of looking at these things as difficult, he looked at them as a mark of bravery for his sufferings. He said they weren't even worthy to be compared with the glory that would be revealed in us at another time. Now, what were some of the things that he did experience? Well, he told Timothy not to have a spirit of fear, that we weren't given a spirit of fear, but that we were given a spirit of love and a sound mind. He reminded us that we have the very mind of Christ. Now, were there symptoms that were synonymous what we look at in modern day psychiatry? Yes, there are, there are some symptoms that could have qualified for generalized anxiety disorder or adjustment disorder with anxious mood. However, Paul told us not to worry, not to be anxious. He told us that the Lord had instructed him to not be afraid, even though the Holy Spirit had told him that he would go and plan to be in chains or imprisoned at some point. But for optimal mental health, he continued to focus on the promise that was set before him, knowing that all of the sufferings that he experienced, they were each connected to the victory that had already been achieved through the sacrifice of Christ. So what was Paul's prescription? There are so many pearls that he left us with, but here are just a few. First, he reminded us that while others may become overwhelmed with stresses, that we should attempt to understand the mind of the Lord because we have been given the mind of Christ. And we can do this by looking at the scriptural references that he's given us. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, and 8, he reminds us again to be anxious for nothing, let a request be made known of God, and the peace that surpassed all understanding will guard our hearts and our mind. And I'll have you go to the verse seven to look at some specific things that we can be thinking about. Now, things like calming, peaceful scenery, landscape, some of the wonderful things that we're experiencing here while here in Greece, those are things that you can take heart as well. And you don't have to come all the way to Greece to do that. Just looking at some beautiful videos, YouTube video, things like that. Those are things that can quickly reset listening to something that's positive like music. And I wanna thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. And we want you to continue with our journey so that you catch all five of the episodes that we're doing as we're following in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul and as we lead you in your lead life journey in mental health. Take care and have a very blessed day on purpose.